Hello everyone and welcome to a brand new video today. I am Proud Number One and today we're gonna, I'm going to be showcasing off my brand new gaming PC which I just built and I've been very reluctant to do, be, do a video on it yet. So this is a video here and I hope you really do enjoy this video. Um, I'll be exploring and showing my specs and showing inside the PC and showing also its performance. Let's take a look inside the PC. This is what it looks like and I'm sorry for the poor cable management but I just really was excited to get this thing in and get it started. As you can see, it looks pretty nice. We've got a nice red LED fan on the right. I have one terabyte hard drive, a 650 watt power supply, and uh, I'll showcase some of the other specs in just a moment. Here we have my CPU and RAM. Uh, my CPU is an Intel Core i3-6100 CPU. It's uh, clocked at 3.7 GHz, which is a really amazing CPU. I'm very excited for the CPU and I'm stoked that I got it. It works amazing on games. I, I thought I might have to get an i5, but i3 works perfectly if you're going for a budget. Um, I've got also the stock CPU cooler, not a big deal. I don't really do anything. I don't overclock, so it's not going to be a big deal. I don't need the I don't need um, uh, aftermarket. I also have my RAM here, which is uh, eight gigabytes of DDR4 RAM. Works very well. Uh, more than enough for my games I play, so it works nice, uh, looks nice as well, so that's pretty good. Unfortunately, I couldn't really get the camera angle to showcase the GTX 1060, but here here you can see my GTX 1060 3GB overclocked Windforce card. It is a red and black theme, and it looks really nice. It performs amazing, and you'll be able to see its performance in the video today. Overall, an amazing card. I've also got a Wi-Fi adapter, not a big deal, but you know, just, just in case you're wondering. Here is the front of my case, as you can see, I've got two uh, slots of USB 3.0, works amazing. Um, I've also got my headphone jack and my microphone jack, uh, where I plug my headphones in. I've also got an optical drive there, just in case I need to put a disc in. It works well. Just to note, I got a, my case came with a really cool front fan, it has a lights up red and it's just cool, my favourite colour, so yeah, this is a little note there. Here is my mechanical keyboard, my first ever mechanical keyboard I might add, and my mouse, which uh, both light up uh, different colours. I like to have it on red, uh, just showcasing the different colours here. Uh, really fun, I like it, it feels so much better than the old plastic keyboard, so yeah, very worth the money. It's only 50 bucks, by the way, at Computer Alliance, if you're interested. Yeah. This is my LG monitor, which is 22 inches and at 60 hertz. It is a very nice monitor, looks amazing, and it works nice. Not ha haven't had a problem with it yet. It is just really nice looking monitor. I'm very impressed of how it's been performing so far. Let's have a look at what my PC can do now. Our first game is going to be Overwatch. As you can see here, Overwatch is at put at max settings for my PC and can run very fluently. Overwatch runs very well on my PC at epic settings. The game can perform at 130 FPS as an average, 156 max, and 100 at minimum. On my old PC, this is barely the case. At low settings, it ran at 26 FPS and it looked horrible. Having a PC like this is a massive privilege, and being able to play games at this quality graphics and this amount of good frames is just amazing. It's so good to be able to have a PC like this. The next game we'll be looking at is Counter-Strike Global Offensive. At the highest settings possible on CSGO, I was able to achieve a solid 113 FPS constantly, 152 max, and a minimum of 92. CSGO was one of the easier titles to run on my old PC, however, this PC beats it in a landslide, and I'm very stoked to be able to play at nice graphics. Even though the game doesn't look beautiful, it's still nice to have the extra graphic advantage. The next game we'll be looking at is one of my favourite games right now. It's called Unturned and it's a really underrated game. It's got everything and it's free on Steam and it's just tons of fun. As you can see here, I run Unturned at the highest settings possible and get great performance. My average FPS is 89, my max has been 191 and my minimum has been 57. All over a playable standard, it's a great game to be able to explore with. And the final game we'll be looking at today is, of course, the brand new release, Ghost Recon, which is also one of my favourite games right now, if you didn't notice from uh, my background wallpaper on my monitor. It's one of my favourite games. I've got an Xbox and PC, and uh, I don't have to say, PC, it looks so much better. Get on PC, please. Just, it'll help you a lot, alright? 
Ghost Recon is one of the hardest titles to play on my PC, an average of 60 FPS and a max of 64, and of course a minimum of 43. All of this is at a playable standard, and I really like the game and how it looks, and I'm just very impressed with my graphics card's performance. It only got 3GB of VRAM, so very impressive. Anyway people, thanks for watching this video today, I really appreciate it, did a lot of work in this video, and a lot of work on my PC. Just and by the way, I did build my PC, and I did everything inside it, except, I didn't build the individual parts of course, I just built it, all the parts myself, I assembled it. It works amazing, much better than buying a PC in my opinion, custom build it, it saves you so much money. Um, anyway guys, thank you so much for watching today's video, uh, make sure to stay tuned for the channel, there should be some more videos coming, and yeah, that's all for today, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye guys, and have a good day.